What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, Wealth Hacker Labs. I'm your grateful host, Jeff Rose. At the time of this recording, it is Friday, so TGIF to you. And today, I uh, just want to really quickly talk about one of, one of my favorite words and a word that if you use it right, if you use it effectively, it can make you a good, about, good amount of money. So what are we talking about today? Well, the word of the day, people, is arbitrage arbitrage so what is arbitrage please use arbitrage in a sentence okay no we won't do that but let's go ahead and enlarge this real quick so you can read along what the definition is so arbitrage is the simultaneous buying and selling of securities currency or commodities in different markets or in derivative forms that's a lot of that's a lot of words in order in order to take advantage of different prices of the same asset so that that is key right different assets i'm sorry different prices for the same asset so we are buying something over here and essentially selling it over here and we are making money i personally love arbitrage uh you see a lot of sneaker flippers doing this you know buying sneakers on the nike sneakers app maybe they're buying some yeezys whatever they're doing you know they're paying paying retail and then selling them on eBay or on StockX or GOAT or wherever they're selling these shoes. I'm not talking about sneakers today. What I'm talking about is my, my new obsession, my new craze is sports cards. And this is something that I've, I've seen now for a few months and I haven't acted upon this yet. Full disclaimer, I have not executed on this yet. So I am recording this not as a, hey, I have gone out and done this, but I'm recording this as a, I think I've identified a way that you all, including you and me, could take advantage of some ripe opportunities on eBay's flipping sports cards for uh, using arbitrage, basically. So how does this all work? So first, let me give you some background. So when it comes to sports cards, Typically, if you want to add value to your cards, you're going to get your cards graded. And this is what it looks like when you have a card graded. You get the card, you send it off to a grading company, they give you a number, and they put it in this nice little, they call it a slab, basically this nice protective case to protect the card and also gives it a nice numeric value. So this one, if you can't see, that is a 10 on that card. So that would be a, they would call a perfect 10. So that is what a perfect 10 looks like right there. That is with a grading company called SGC. And then in comparison, here is a perfect 10 with another grading company called PSA. So those are two 10s. SGC is the black label, PSA is the red, just for, uh, just for reference so that you kind of know the difference. And then we have another one here. This is a Beckett or BGS. So this is just another grading company. So for, for the longest time, PSA and Beckett have been like the top two, where I would say PSA right now is, 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 is the number one. We'll give them like the, the number one spot. So this is, they got the red label, very traditional, like that's what they look like. So typically what happens is that a, the, a card, like the same asset as we're talking about in arbitrage. So you could have the exact same card in a PSA 10, and the other card in the SGC 10, but the same card, right? The same card, but the one in the PSA is going to sell for more than the SGC 10. And the reason being is because SGC is a newer, great, I'm not new, new, but newer compared to PSA. They've still been around for a while, but whatever reason, PSA has done a really good job of making themselves the leader in the market, the industry. And if you think of it like Nike versus Reebok, you know, could be the same shoe, but instead of a swoosh, you know, you got whatever, you know, I don't even know what Reebok's logo is. I mean, that just shows you why Nike can command what they do. So, so keep all that in mind, right? So SGC, uh, let me just kind of give you a little, this is kind of what their website looks like. So you can kind of see their grading services, what they offer. So that's SGC. And then you have PSA, very similar. Now, the thing that is very interesting at, at this time of recording is that 
SGC is still accepting cards to be graded and they are charging $30 a card. PSA, uh, so there has just been an influx of people sending in card after card over the pandemic so that PSA basically they just got bum rushed and weren't able to keep up with the demand of all these submissions that they were getting. So the first thing that they did was they increased their price. I think they did that for a month. And then it was about, I believe, uh, let's just say a month, maybe even two months ago, they suspended their service. So these are like the $20 card service, as you can see, service suspended. $50 card service suspended. Service suspended for $100, $150. So right now, if you want to get any card graded with PSA, you'll have to pay at least $300. $300 right now. And they're supposed to open this up in July, but uh, there is no, there's rumors that they may not happen, but regardless of the fact. And the one thing I just want to point out what I, the way that I kind of describe this to my kids, right? The way that I look at this. So if you think of a player like LeBron James, LeBron James, he right now is the greatest NBA player that is playing. We could argue this for another day, but right now, currently playing, LeBron James is the greatest player. He is the best player. And do would you want LeBron James wearing Nikes or LeBron James wearing Adidas? It really doesn't matter. I don't care which LeBron James I get. LeBron James wearing Nike or Adidas shoes, like it's the same man. It's the same, man. I don't care what shoes he's wearing. If I get LeBron James, I mean, he can wear flip-flops for all I care. But so I'm getting the same guy. And the way that I look at with PSA versus SGC, I know that these are different cards, but assume that you had a Zion Williamson PSA 10, and then you had a Zion Williamson SGC 10, same card. Why is a PSA, SG, uh, PSA 10 worth more than a SGC 10 when it's the same card and it has the exact same grade. Because I will say that all these, SGC has a great reputation for the way that they go about looking at their cards, grading their cards, you know, very meticulous detail. So like there is no issues with that because there are some shady grading companies. So keep that, keep all that in mind as we talk about arbitrage. So let's look at some arbitrage. And this is an example that I saw about a month ago. And unfortunately the prices, the, 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 the gap in between has gotten a little smaller, but we are looking at a, in this situation is a Kobe Bryant SGC 10. So you have a Kobe Bryant SGC 10, as opposed to a, Kobe Bryant, PSA 10, you know, looking at the difference between the two. So I was able to pull up, let me show you just one example here. So here you had one that sold. So this is a SGC 10, uh, which looks very comparable to, as you can probably tell, uh, this card here. This is a Jordan Kobe SGC 10. So this card sold in auction for $27.24, 2724 for a SGC 10. Now, coming back over, let's, uh, oh, same card. Okay, had the wrong tab open. All right, here we go. Now we have, once again, this is the same card, 96 tops, Kobe Bryant, SGC 10, rookie card number 138. This is a base, 96 top, base, called a base card. There's nothing special about it as far as it's not chrome, it's not a refractor. This is the exact same card sold for 45.88. Sold here for 4,300, um, 4,450. And if I would have recorded this video about, I believe it was a month ago, there were examples of this same card selling for over five, even over 6,000, I believe it's 6,000, I'll say over five. I'm pretty sure I saw one for sale for over six. And I was, I was, I saw a few SGC 10s selling for like 2,200, 2,400, and then the PSA 10 selling for five or six, basically twice as much. So this is what we call a perfect example of arbitrage. You are paying $2,500 for a card over here. Yes, we have tax. And then you could sell it 
over here for twice as much. Yes, you have to pay some eBay selling fees. So there's that is taken into consideration as well. Either way, you are still making a nice profit. So that is that's just one example. Let me give you one more. And I and I just saw both of these. Actually, I'm gonna give you two more examples. I came across these uh, yesterday. So actually, it's, it's the same car. So this actually is going on right now. So this is a live auction. This is uh, under PWCC. They're one of the top auction houses that uh, go on eBay as well. So you can see it right here. You have an SGC, oh, I gotta go down so you can see it. You've got this SGC 10 right here. It's got three, they both have three hours and 48 minutes left. This one currently is at $1,770. So there's that one. And then you got one right next to it, PSA 10 that's currently going for $3,800. So that is more than double. This one here, same card as well, PSA 10 going for $3,449. Like, it's like, I'm asking myself, like, why am I not buying this? And this is, now keep in mind, well, I'll, I'll address that at the end. So here's one more example. Let me give you the third one, just so that we can look at somebody that's not Jordan, or I'm sorry, that's not Kobe. We're looking at Jordan, that was a slip. So here we go, same auction house, this is a Jordan 1997 metal number 23. So this one right here, we got four hours left. Current bid on this is $687. And then right next to it, same card, Michael Jordan 1997 metal, PSA 10, 4727. Here's another one next to it. 4,500 and another one here for 3,400. All three of these are at least, what is that? Four, six to five, six, almost five times, four times. I mean, at minimum five times what the SGC 10 is selling at. That my friends is arbitrage. And let's go ahead and just use this example. So let's, let's, let's keep that number in mind. I'm gonna write that down real quick. I'm gonna use these two right here. Assuming that this auction were to end right now, so you got 47, 27, and then 687 for there. All right, so let's go here and let's bring up my little calculator real quick. All right, so we talked about 687 and, oops, that's 681, 687, uh, I cannot type a seven today for some reason. Let's uh, add, I don't know, 15% for taxes and maybe some shipping if there's not free shipping. So that's $790. How much do you pay right now if you bought that card? Now we're gonna look at if we got the 42, 47, 27. 47, 27, and then we're gonna look at the eBay seller fees. So right now, eBay seller fees on cards are 12.35%. So times 1.235, we got Four seven two seven times. I say point one two three five equals. So there's five hundred eighty three dollars. We'll take that from the purchase price of four seven two seven equals four thousand one hundred and forty three dollars. Forty one forty three minus seven ninety. Three thousand. Oh my goodness! Three thousand three hundred and fifty-three dollars. And yes, like there's some other fees in there. I'm I, I'm not trying to be exact here. I'm just trying to show this as an example. Three thousand three hundred and fifty-three dollars. In case if you are wondering, uh, I am not publishing this video until this auction is done. Uh, full disclaimer: I'm I am buying this card right now. Uh, I am, I'm pointing to the screen. You can't see my screen. Uh, I am, I'm buying this card, this one right here, the SGC. I, I, am I going to try to sell it? Try to do the whole arbitrage thing? I don't know yet, but as you can see, this example exists. And my, I do have a, a hunch here, you know, right now, like there is a pretty big discrepancy between SGC and PSA. And there are, examples where the, the, the discrepancy isn't as large. So you're not gonna find this on every single card, but, uh, but there are quite a few. Uh, I found this on a Zion Williamson uh, PSA 10 versus SGC 10 on his Prism. 
his prism rookie, which is like one of his more sought after rookies. So there's that one. I've seen it on football car. I've seen it a lot, but I also have seen some cases where there is a closer. If you look at like a Jordan A6 Flair, for example, the SGC versus the PSA are much closer than what we are seeing here. Now I do have a belief or theory that over time, SGC and PSA are going to get closer together. So taking advantage of this large arbitrage might not be a thing. I don't know how much longer that's going to be. Uh, I think as SGC remains open and they are accepting new cards to be graded while PSA is still trying to figure out what they're going to do. Uh, I mean, PSA, they've got some time because they are the leader, but over time, people are going to get frustrated. And SGC, uh, I mean, they're, it's a good company. They got a good thing, a good product, good service going on. And I really like them. And, but yeah, so just want to give you, I don't know how much longer this is going to last. And, but take advantage while you can. Look, don't just look at basketball cards. I'm, I'm kind of really into basketball right now. There are baseball examples. There are football examples. I'm sure there's probably hockey. There could be golf. There could be NASCAR. I mean, there could be other examples that this arbitrage exists. Look for it. It's there if you're willing to take the risk. Now, obviously, some of the risk involved. I mean, some huge risk involved. <laughs> one, one would be what happens if you, you pick a player that is currently playing and he gets hurt. Like that's a huge risk. So be careful like on baseball right now, like if you're doing like a Tatis Jr. or an Acuna, Acuna or something like that. So that is a big risk. That's why I lean more towards Jordan, Kobe, you know, looking at guys that can't play anymore, you know, can't really hurt what they have going on. So that would be the other thing I would say, be careful on. Uh, or if you're looking at say football, for example, that might be a good one right now since it's the off season, unless, you know, somebody gets hurt on uh, during summer camp. I mean, that could be a bad thing. Just be, be careful on that. Obviously the other risk is what happens if the prices keep, if they keep coming down or come down, that is another risk. But generally what we've seen, like cards are leveling off. That's why you're seeing like that Kobe card, I think was selling for like eight grand earlier this year. So it's going to keep going down. I, I think we're reaching a, a bottom per se. So I don't think there's a lot of risk there, but it's still something to take into account. So make sure you know all the risk involved, do your research, but man, you want to talk about a way of hacking your wealth, arbitrage. This is one example, an example that I love because it involves something I'm just really into and passionate about with sports cards. Just showing off some of my collection. Uh, just picked up that one not too long ago, little Nike uh, 85 promo with uh, Jordan and the original Jumpman logo right there. Oh, I'm sorry. I love that card. All right. <laughs> I can go on too long about this. Hey, y'all. Hope you have a good weekend. As a reminder, as always, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money. It's your life. And all you can make it awesome. Until next time. Peace.